The award that I got from the Bag Factory was actually quite a great stepping stone for me. It was really interesting to spend time there at the Bag Factory with other artists. Before that, I had worked from home, never worked at a studio. So that was very interesting because I got to meet great artists like David um, and Pat. Um, and it's a huge studio space. Um, so that kind of, it was nice to see the other side of um, working as an artist. It, it got me to, I don't know, solidify my own voice among everything else. You know, having something like that on your CV um, really says a lot to clients and just people in the industry. Yeah, I think it, uh, it did kind of influence a lot of what I'm doing now. And I mean, eventually I did decide to move to Joburg permanently and it's been great. The bag factory, first of all, being a space of community and sharing of knowledge, I think made me um, look at my work differently and how I approach um, I mean, the practice of painting and the possibilities of the medium and the possibilities of you know, drawing from I mean, conversations with artists around um, the bag factory, the mentorship, and it's a space that a lot of legends and greats have walked through. So I think that was also quite an exciting moment for, for, for me. A group exhibition is like singing in a choir and then a solo exhibition is now having to sing alone on stage. So I think that was quite important for my journey so far. You know, material, material is, is, is not really uh, something that is that accessible generally. You know? but, so, I mean, a stipend gives you room to think properly without having to worry about where am I going to get my next canvas, you know. So I mean that took a, a load off, you know, and allowed for me to focus on the work. One can stretch a medium and really just find a home in a language. When I got the Cassia Veld Award, I was excited. It meant to me that um, there was a certain recognition, you know, appreciation of what I do and um, it afforded me a chance to have my first solo show, which was a big um, mark for me uh, as a, an artist and it launched my career as an artist. Uh, being at the Back Factory Studios really um, assisted me with uh, opening up to a community, you know, how to share space, how to relate to other artists, but also to feed off other artists' energies by listening to what they have to share or looking at their work also and their thinking as well. So it, it, I, I really think it was a good um, surrounding. There's actually so much that one can achieve from, you know, where they are. Being at the Back Factory or the, winning the award gives you that that, that platform where clients or people get to see that you're not just a hobbyist in art, you're just like, you're a career artist. It gave me confidence, it gave me a platform to showcase my work and with, to a bigger audience. And yeah, mainly it's just the confidence. Before the award, I was just exhibiting at school or in my neighborhood. But with the award, with me winning the award after that, I managed to exhibit in the Jobic Art Fair, in the Cape Town Art Fair, in the Turbine Art Fair. And I sold my work, works to people from Canada to Germany, which just blew my mind because I never thought I'd have a piece of my work being in those countries or in any other country. I just thought it would be basically in Heidelberg, in Rotanda, and yeah. I got introduced to the Back Factory in 2013 through the Renault Casera Award. 
Uh, what the Back Factory means for me is uh, a space to grow, uh, a space to share information and a space for artists to create uh, and just to grow and to learn from each other and to share love and positivity. So the Cassia Wells Award was founded in 2011 by Nadine Gordimer with the Bag Factory in honour of her husband Reynold Cassia, who was originally called the Reynold Cassia Award. And the award was really aimed at artists under the age of 35 specialising in drawing and painting and that hasn't changed in 10 years. The award was supported by the Reynold Cassia Trust and Strauss and Co. Mm -hmm. um, step in as a sponsor as well. And the following year Nadine Gordema passes away which is very sad for um, the entire arts community. But Strauss and Co and I think especially Stefan Waltz pledged to continue supporting the award. And in 2015 then, Stefan Waltz passed away and that year a cohort of supporters came together to support the award, which included Strauss and Co, uh, William Kentridge, uh, Ben and Natalia, another artist at the Bag Factory, and Business and Arts South Africa.